Payments. That's one of those things, right? It's a massive sector. If you add up the market cap or even the private valuations of all the payment companies, you're getting to very, very, very big levels. Probably as big as the e-commerce long tail. And that's because these payment companies add significant value. And you want to work with the largest of the sector and do listen carefully to their presentations because they do have differences and not every payment provider fits for every merchant. We start with Kredorax from Israel. Moshe, please come on stage and present your products to us. Yes. Thank you for Thank being you, here. Thank you. Everybody, thank you, Marcus. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, it's great to present again at NOAA. Um, so what I want to uh, talk to you about today is multi-dimensional commerce and why payments do matter. Uh, quickly, before I start, let me introduce Credorox. Uh, in Credorox, uh, we are a fintech, uh, European fintech bank, meaning that we are a fintech a company uh, very technology oriented, yet we are a fully fledged uh, bank uh, focused on providing payments and banking services to cross border omni commerce merchants, or as, as we love to call them today, multi dimensional merchants. Quickly, uh, some stats about Credorox. Uh, we have more than uh, 4,000 merchants, uh, different uh, variety of uh, industries. Um, we provide uh, services and focus on the cross-border uh, market, um, and uh, we've been an aggressive um, growth story since inception, uh, growing very, very fast year over year. Uh, in Credorx, we have three pillars uh, to our activities. Uh, first of all, and this is where we started from, our core uh, is merchant acquiring services, being principal level members uh, with Visa, MasterCard, China Union Pay, Amex, and others. Uh, we have Credorox Bank, as I mentioned. Uh, we are a fully-fledged bank, and we provide banking services uh, to the merchant uh, that we serve in our ecosystem, and uh, payments uh, that basically aggregates all the solutions that Credorox uh, give to our merchants, uh, from technology-oriented services like token management, uh, smart 3D secure, uh, machine learning algorithms that help our customers drive their sales, um, through anti-fraud, uh, shopping cart plugins, and uh, the whole stack of uh, e-commerce solution. And all of that we envelope with value-added services like approval rate optimization and cost optimization, which drive your business as a merchant uh, to a different level. So let's talk about multi-dimensional uh, businesses. Today, all of us work in a multi-dimension world. We start maybe at our local domestic market. We might start an online business. We might start an offline business, a brick and mortar. Uh, but very fast, we get into a multi-dimension environment where customer comes from different uh, localities. Customer comes with different need. We need to uh, provide different logistic, logistical uh, services to different markets. Um, and sometimes we need to adhere to regulations that we do not uh, necessarily know about that are affecting other jurisdictions that, and regions that we work with. Um, and new technologies uh, that appear and need, we need to support them. And let me give you some example about this concept of multi-dimension uh, and the fusion of these dimensions. So if we look, for example, at the China market, there is the China market, which is the land of China, the People's Republic of China, uh, and there are about 1.4 billion uh, China people uh, living in China. But there is also the Chinese market. And what is the Chinese market? The Chinese market is what I refer to as 150 million Chinese traveled the world uh, in 2018 which basically means that even if you didn't target China as a market, the Chinese market will come to you and might step into your door, even if physical, uh, the physical uh, shop or an online shop. And something to know about uh, these Chinese uh, consumers, they have done 60.5 billion mobile transactions, mobile payment transactions uh, in 2018, mainly through Alipay and WeChat Pay. So when they come through your door, you want to be ready to accept their uh, favorite uh, and preferred uh, payment of method. Let's look at the other side of the scale, a tiny 
country, Israel, 8.7 million people. Yet uh, they did just in e-commerce three billion uh, dollars of uh, uh, worth of transactions, and a whopping number of 65 million packages were delivered uh, to these 8.7 million people uh, from an e-commerce and online uh, transactions. So yes, maybe physically there are not too many people, but definitely in your online commerce, you will meet them. So you need to understand how they think, how you market for them, uh, and what do you sell to these uh, markets that sometimes you didn't even think uh, when you started your business. Another very interesting market, talking about these dimension and dimensions and the fusion of these dimensions is actually uh, the local market here, the UK. The UK is the third largest e-commerce market in the world after China and the US. Uh, yet in 2018, uh, a very strong trend that is happening around the world is happening also in the UK. 6.2 billion pounds of transactions were done in what is called click and collect, meaning that people browse online, maybe buy online, uh, finish uh, the purchase online, but not all the time finish the purchase online, and then they go to the physical shop and actually collect or buy the item uh, that they want. Okay, and this trend is actually uh, growing to f by 50% expected to be in uh, the year uh, 2022 uh, for uh, 9.6 billion um, dollars, pounds, sorry. And this is actually something that is very much identified in Southeast Asia and actually has a name to it now, online merge offline, OMO for short. Basically, that there is a transformation between the offline and the online world, and you want to keep this uh, experience. So in this world of multidimensional uh, that can be you know, in various uh, vectors, you also need to think about the payments. The payments are also becoming a multidimensional uh, um, aspect. It could be people that pay with their card, they pay with their app, they pay with their uh, wire transfers. Uh, etc. And you want to have a support for all these kind of payments and you want to be able to optimize for the right solution at the right time for the right customer. So uh, let's look at some of the solutions, uh, quickly few examples of solutions that we did with our customers and, and partners to understand how at Quedrox uh, we look at it uh, with our partners to optimize uh, this uh, dimensional uh, aspect. So we have uh, a partner in France, the Lenny's, uh, have various uh, versatile merchants, and one of the solutions that they wanted us to build for them was basically when a customer goes to an offline um, uh, a physical store and comes to pay at the point of sale, we actually create a token uh, at, the, uh, at the payment, and then we share this token with the online presence of the same brand. So what happens is that when this customer, after they have been in the physical world, when they go and browse online at the same brand, they are well known, their payment credentials are already uh, stored within this brand and they can have a seamless uh, experience. Basically consolidating their online and offline experience and creating a single shopper identity uh, within the brand. Another very trivial but yet uh, not always easy to uh, identify and help uh, our merchants is we have um, Elixium, another partner of ours who has uh, a nice and actually very uh, strong growth around Europe, yet using our analytical tools, etc., we identify that in the Netherlands they have much less of an adoption rate than they have in other countries uh, in uh, Europe. So identifying that, we started investigating their approach to the Netherlands markets from a payments perspective. And what we have found that they didn't offer and didn't push and didn't promote ideal, which is the dominant payment method in the Netherlands. Just by doing a little change, promoting ideal, putting it as first uh, uh, payment option, when there was a Netherlands and a Dutch customer, we have increased their volume by 15, 15 times fold just by identifying what is the reason that uh, they do not uh, get payments accepted uh, in uh, the Netherlands. One last example that I like to show 
And this is about, again, thinking about the different dimensions of this last puzzle, uh, piece of the puzzle uh, of the payments. So we, we have announced this week our partnership with Alipay and uh, Widget Pay and our solution. Um, you can come by our booth. We have a nice white paper, including China Union Pay. And when, when we built the solution with Alipay and Widget Pay, we did two things. First of all, we support both of them. We've thought about the Chinese customer, so we support both of them. We support both of them across Europe, but not only that we support them online and offline, uh, we actually used our banking capabilities to provide a full suite of a solution for our merchants that basically they can have their money remitted through our core banking, uh, and they can have a full transparency, understanding what the payment is, and actually getting it much, much faster than in other alternative into their bank account, allowing uh, their better cash flow. So, you know, to summarize all of this, again, you need to go multidimensional and understand the different dimensions and have a partner that will help you understand the different dimensions of each and every aspect of your business. So, you know, Please engage in the conversation, talk to us, so we can help you understand the different uh, aspects of a multidimensional payment solutions. Thank you.